If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com, use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have three different Elite Series 76 2-in-1 reviews, and today we are taking a look, or this specific video, we're taking a look at the GOAT, the greatest of all time, John Cena and Braun Strowman here. Very excited for these figures. You guys know I've been waiting on my Elite Series 76, so I'm giving you all the reviews in one day. If you guys checked out the Heavy Machinery review, you're back for this one. If you missed that one, go check it out. And if you're checking out the rest of the figures in the wave, you want to see them ranked, definitely go check out the Christian and Lacey Evans review. But a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for sending these figures our way. If you want to pick up anything over there, MD Toys is your promo code. Go save some money. Pick up some epic figures. But I am excited for these. I've been waiting on this Cena and I've been waiting on a shirtless Strowman for a very long time. So I'm very excited to dive into that. But let's go ahead and dive into the review, guys. You got your front viewing packaging right there with the beautiful figures right there. On the right, you have a beautiful like photo. I think this is like a photoshopped image of John Cena. I'm not exactly sure. You got the mean mug of Strowman right there, which I'm just noticing his right nostril is absolutely ginormous compared to his left nostril. I don't know what's up with that, but that is something to definitely take football note of. Spinning it to the right, guys, we do have another image of them here. Bio reads, if you'd like to read all that, you can pause it now. Also, the rest of the figures in the wave, which you can check out reviews of all on the channel right now. Then we have a picture of both men at WrestleMania 35, which is where these figures are based off of. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and crack Jan Strowman and Jonathan Cena out of their packaging. Alright guys, so here is the Doctor of Thugonomics and the Monster Among Men out of their packaging. Looking pretty freaking swell, I might add. Looking at these guys side by side already, you can already tell that Braun Strowman is a literal mountain of a man. And he looks like a freaking ginormous freaking freak of nature. But anyways, guys, we're going to run through it. You guys know how we already do. We're going to run through one of their accessories and then take a closer look at one of them. And then we'll run it back and do the same exact thing for the other. In this case, we are going to start off with Braun Strowman's accessories and then cover Braun Strowman. Strowman, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the GOAT's accessories and the GOAT himself. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into Braun Strowman's accessories. So as far as Braun Strowman's accessories goes, guys, we do have two pairs of interchangeable hands. Out of the packaging, he comes with mic holding hands, and then he has the interchangeable choke slamming hands, which I don't really care for, but there are those. And then you come with the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy, where Braun Strowman did win at WrestleMania 35, and we have seen this in the past. But one detail that they did give us is this right here, which includes all of the names of former winners engraved on the trophy. You got 2014 Cesaro, 2015 Big Show, 2016 Barry. Aaron Corbin trash. 2017 Mojo Rawley, 2018 Matt Hardy and then 2019 Braun Strowman which is really cool. I'm really glad they included this. I think that is excellent details right there. And then since I am an actual psychopath, I am going to compare every Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophy that we have ever gotten. There's the other, one more, and the last one. So here we have four Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophies and you guys can see this is the first one that actually includes all of the winners on it which I think is excellent. To be honest with you, I like this gold the best. It just looks the most realistic to a trophy. And I think we got one of these with a Matt Hardy figure. We got one of these with a Big Show. We got one of these with a Cesaro, possibly? I can't freaking remember, man. I'm gonna be dead ass honest with you. I can't remember, man. Somebody let me know down below. Was it Elite 33 Cesaro or something? Anyways, there's your Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophy comparisons, and that does it for Braun Strowman's accessories. So take a closer look at Braun Strowman himself, guys. Let's get a good zoom-in shot on this head sculpt because I think this is a really strong head sculpt. I am really feeling the way this thing looks. I love the mean mug we got going on with Braun Strowman. I think this is his best head sculpt to date. I love how pissed off he looks. It looks great. The beard color looks great. The sculpt looks great. I think overall they did a really great job on this Braun Strowman head sculpt. The true effects is there. The ponytail is there. And we will get into some comparisons. But I think the biggest thing with this Braun Strowman that we're all going to be talking about is the shirtless torso mold that we got going on. This brand new torso mold that looks really, really good. I love the way it looks. He is a gigantic man, but he does, he's pretty ripped up. He's pretty lean, and I think they capture it. You know, he looks great here with his abs. He's got a big old torso. He's got a great chest on him. The ab crunch is tight, so you don't have to worry about the looseness. The waist is also tight. He's got all of his tattoos going on. The powerlifting tattoo right there, because I think he competed in World's Strongest Man. All of his tattoos go 
going around, you of course do have to leave off the Superman tat because of copyright. You got the back neck tattoo or the top of the back tattoo right there. One thing I am bummed about is they did leave off the belt buckle and belt details. I'll probably do that on action figure surgery. We'll paint the belt black and add in the silver dry brushing over the belt buckle to really complete the figure. I think that'll make it look a lot better. Then you have this deco on the pants, which does look detailed or more detailed than we've seen in the past, which we will do in the comparison part of the video. But you get all these tears and the colors look really good. You get some brown stitching molds over here. It looks really, really strong. He's got his khaki boots on, which are supposed to be Timberlands, but they did not give us a brand new mold. So it is just his regular wrestling boots in a tan colorway, which actually looks pretty good to, in my personal opinion. I would have preferred to seen the Timberlands, but I still respect it. And he is on ball joints, if you guys are wondering. Black wrist tape, standard for Braun Strowman. One thing I will say is I feel like maybe his uh, his, his shoulders may be a little bit too small, but I, I don't know. I think he looks good, man. He's really towering over other figures, which we'll see later. And I don't know, man. I just really like it. But now that we've taken a closer look at Braun Strowman, man, let's take a look at some Braun Strowman elite figure comparisons. So for your Braun Strowman Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the new Elite 76 here on the left with my custom pick fed vindication Kane Return Monsters of Destruction or whatever the hell they're called, Tag Team Braun. And then we have our two top talents, Braun Strowman's over here. I will say, I think I like the dry brushing on the top talents right here, the way it looks better than what we got here with this kind of like flat blackish look going on. And then over here, it does look a lot better than this flat brown. So I think this one got it right with the beard. But if you guys can see what I'm talking about with the belt and the belt buckle right there and then the pants deco, it is a lot better over here. It's just got more details and stuff, but this has the belt. So so... <laughs> Uh, sucked in saliva. But then you guys can see the difference in the boots and stuff like that. I think I like the, all, the solid tan over the green and brown. What do you guys think? But overall, I think for sure that this has the better head sculpt. I just love the way it looks. And then if you want to take a look at this right here, you can see that this is the black boots and then the tan. And that pretty much does it for your Braun Strowman Elite Figure Comparisons. The only one I do not have to compare is the Elite 44, which I did sell a while back, but I do want to track that down to add to the Braun Strowman Collection. So getting into the GOATs accessories, guys, you did get a little bit of stuff here. You get interchangeable hands out of the packaging. John Cena does come with mic holding hands and then he has the you can't see me hands or the five knuckle shuffle hands or the wide open slap your mama hands whatever you want to call that. You have a plain black baseball cap. Now this is obviously not what he was wearing. He was wearing a New York Yankees hat with specific patches and stuff on it but since the New York Yankees logos are copywritten and they didn't want to pay the Yankees for those logos they left those off which makes complete sense to me and I don't know how much light they can get away with, so I'm not exactly sure, but you do get a plain black hat that does fit the figure, surprisingly, where well, we've seen in the past where John Cena hats have not fit the figure. This is a little bit bigger than your standard Cena hat, but it does fit the figure well, which you guys saw in a later segment. You do get the Word Life Lock Chain, which we saw with his Defining Moments figure, which is beautiful. Doesn't get the, you know, the yellow paint detail in there, but I'm not going to deduct, deduct football points. Really cool that they include that. And the Doctor of Thugonomics would not be the Doctor of Thugonomics without his Word Life Brass Nucks. I do I believe this is the first time that we're actually getting these with the gold lettering on there. So these look great. I love the paint detail we're getting on these and these actually go on the figure really nicely. Absolutely beautiful. And then the gem of the accessories, we do get a baseball jersey which is supposed to be a Babe Ruth Yankees jersey. And again, it's supposed to say Yankees or New York on the front. I think it's supposed to say Yankees on the front. But obviously like we discussed with the hat, same exact deal. You can't put Yankees on it. But it does have the exact same font as the Yankees Babe Ruth jersey on the back which I thought was really cool. The Babe Ruth number three right there. I'm a Red Sox fan. I hate the Yankees, but this is very sick. I love the material of this. It feels like I, I'm trying to describe it kind of like a, I guess like a tablecloth type of, of mixture or whatever the hell you want to call it. I think it fits the figure beautifully. And I think it's really sick that we're going to be able to see a Babe Ruth Yankees jersey up next to a Red Sox jersey later on in the video when we do our comparisons. But this fits the figure well. I think it feels fantastic. And this is obviously replicating the moment from where he returned as the Doctor of Thugonomics at WrestleMania 35 where it was a huge shock and I literally shat myself. But that does it for John Cena's accessories, guys. So let's dive into the Doctor of Thugonomics himself. So diving into John Cena, guys, you guys know I'm a huge John Cena fan. It's my favorite wrestler of all time. So we are going to critique this figure as such because I am a big John Cena fan. I want my John Cena figures to be damn nice, right? So let's dive into this thing, taking a look at the head sculpt. Now this is where the figure kind of loses me a little bit because it's kind of like the face scan is a, supposed to be a younger 
Cena, but this is obviously where he returned at WrestleMania 35, which would be in his older state, and the haircut is a little bit off. It's not really the haircut, you know, the haircut kind of fits the theme. It's kind of like it's pressed down under a hat, which I think is really cool. I think it's the hair color that's really throwing me off. I think it has too much of a brownish, lightish brown, lightish red tone to it that I'm not really feeling, but I love the likeness. I think the likeness does capture it well, especially for a young scene. If you were going to take this head sculpt, put it on a younger John Cena for a cool fix-up or something like that, I think that would totally work. In my own personal opinion, I'm probably going to edit this head sculpt a little bit, probably shave off some sides or something, maybe sculpt something up. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm still toying with it in my mind what I want to do exactly, but there is some tooling and stuff I want to do with this, unless I'm just going to keep it as a return John Cena for the Doctor of Thugonomics at that specific event for that moment at WrestleMania 35. Now, one thing I am going to do is I am going to make his Super Showdown attire where he return in the navy red and black attire because these armbands do match that specific attire. Now, while I am a big fan of these armbands with the navy and the red and the never give up and everything, it was easily his worst t-shirt design ever. That you can't stop me garbage was awful. I hated that to death. Did not like the hat either, but I do like the armbands. He does have his red, white, and blue belt. You got the dark navy-ish blue. They're like a grayish navy color, which I really like. I think the pants do look good. He is not on ball joints. I believe they use the exact body mold that we've seen all the way back as Elite 3 besides the lower ankle, so it is going to be that Elite 7-esque type body mold if you're wondering, if you collect Cena's, if you know what I'm talking about. Going down, I do like the color. It does seem like they fixed the really loose ankle problem. Like, out of the packaging, he's not, you know, doing 360s all over the place with his ankles. The shoes look good. I like that we got some white paint detail going on on the shoes. The biggest problem with these is that the ankles get super loose and they will just shelf dive off your damn shelf, man. You know how many Cena's I've had just bail off the damn shelf? And they, of course, did go with that older Elite Cena body mold, the Elite 3, 7, 14, all those different Cena's. Same body mold as all of those. But overall, I am feeling it. You know, it is a moment that's pretty cool. I'm just not big on the hair color and I would have preferred them changing up a little bit, maybe tooling it a little bit different, but I totally understand it. But that is pretty much it for our John Cena guys. So let's dive into some John Cena Elite Figure comparisons. So for your John Cena Elite Figure comparisons, guys, you do have the Elite 76 here in the middle, and here is my PickFed MDT Live John Cena, where he returned as the Doctor of Thugonomics at Hell's Gate, and you guys can see the contrast between the uh, Babe Ruth Yankees jersey and then my Manny Ramirez Red Sox jersey. This is pretty much the Defining Moments John Cena figure, which I said is the exact same body mode. You have similar style shoes. Uh, you can see the word life gauntlets. Of course, he does have the word life wristbands because John Cena wore his current wristbands at that WrestleMania event. And then he does have a custom chain gang chain, but this is sort of what we're dealing with here as far as comparisons. And then the rest, you do have the Elite, is this the Elite 71 John Cena? And then you have the Elite 3, which is the same body mold. And then you have another WrestleMania fix-up John Cena over here, or Elite 34. So you guys can just kind of see what I'm talking about here. It's like a just gruntled John Cena face, which I can't appreciate, but it kind of looks like he's younger, but it's kind of like, I, I don't know exactly how to describe it. Let me know what you think of this John Cena down in the comment section below. But that does it for your John Cena Elite Figure Comparisons. One thing I want to show you guys before we get out of here is I did want to showcase the ab crunch if I did not show it off. This is about how much you get out of that, and then that is how far it goes back. So if you guys wanted to know, that is about what you get out of the ab crunch out of this new Braun Strowman. But also, if you wanted to know what the Blue Universal Championship looks like on this guy, if you guys have a Universal Championship, there is what it looks like. And I gotta say, it actually looks pretty badassery with the shirtless mode. I think that's pretty freaking fantastic particles, if you ask me. But anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for the 2-in-1 Elite 76 Braun Strowman and John Cena figure review. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, if you missed the Heavy Machinery review or the ranking of Elite Series 76 along with the Christian and Lacey Evans reviews, definitely go check those out. I would greatly appreciate it. As far as recommendations, guys, I would say that the John Cena is not a must-buy, but this is probably my favorite Braun Strowman to date. I love the shirtless mold. I know we're getting a top talents figure that's coming soon, which is the exact same figure except it does have a... Uh, I think the head sculpt is different. I think it has the screaming head sculpt possibly, and then it also comes with a uh, removable t-shirt which is pretty cool. But I would highly recommend both figures if you really want them. Now I would say that I would prefer the Braun Strowman I think over the John Cena if you're looking to purchase one of them. But I'm a John Cena guy so you guys know I'm going to be purchasing all of those. But if you'd like to pick up any of the figures you saw in today's video guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Go check out the other reviews on these figures of Elite Series 76. Check out our ranking. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.